All right, we're talking about the uh, Baker Mayfield and his transition from uh, an elite season as a starter at Oklahoma and then uh, one of the better rookie performances in his rookie season. New coach uh, Kevin uh, Stefanski, uh, his offense and the additions of tackles, uh, Jack Conklin and Jedrick uh, Wills uh, Jr. should uh, right the ship right then for Mayfield in 2020. But there's also accuracy issues and pocket present issues that uh, Mayfield in 2020, but uh, they'll try to figure that out. It, it also seems that uh, the footwork thing was a big deal. We haven't had heard much of foot, footwork. Here's the accuracy issues of the first two years of Baker Mayfield, 63% in the first year in 2018. It was 24th in the NFL. And then 2019, it was 59%, 59.4%, which is almost at the bottom at, at 31. It seems strange to me that it, as we analyzed last year when it was over, certainly nobody praised him saying he had a Pro Bowl year. But it, it seemed to get worse and worse in everybody's eyes as you got into January and February and all that in analyzing his season. It seemed to get worse and worse as, as, the, as the people who were doing the analyzing uh, came up with it. it. It just seems like there was something that went down, down, down. Yeah, but what's interesting is I think the offensive line got better as the season went on. And I think if you would ask me what was the biggest problem in the beginning of the year, it was his confidence. I think he thought the offensive line couldn't, you know, couldn't stop, uh, I, I don't know, couldn't stop anything. And as the season went on, I thought they got better and they played better. Um, you know, guys like Joel Antonio, I thought significantly better as the season went on. Um, but for him, I just thought it was a confidence thing. I thought there were times when, he felt like he had to do too much. I think there were times when he just made bad decisions. Um, he looked sloppy out there. He just didn't look like he had confidence in his offensive line. And I don't blame him because they weren't very good in the beginning of the year. No, and I still have visions, and I talk about this all the time, of him getting sacked for a safety early in the season. And it was just like everything collapsed on him. And I think he never got over that. On top of the fact that your head coach was talking about one thing, your offensive coordinator was talking about another thing, and there's all this pressure. It's just one voice, one clear voice for Baker Mayfield, I think, that changes everything. 